Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to Let's Play Serlim Ultimate. Still in card week, and uh, hopefully I'm gonna get a chance to do quite a few episodes while we are still in card week. Uh, what do we have to do? Well, we just have to uh, carry on searching for the last few well I say the last it's it's gonna take a long while we are going to hunt down these last few anointments that I need uh, let me remind myself uh, which ones let me just grab my phone actually grabbing my phone just cuz I'd rather not open the browser right now but I have these on uh, on uh, on Google Keep, so, so there are a couple that we need: um, the Evoker Anointment, Expanded Mind, and then two Blood Mage Anointments, Bleed Out and Voracity. <coughs> Voracity. Voracity. Let me just uh, show you what I'm talking about. Um. Uh -huh. Okay, Evoker is. Expanded mind, we need this one. And then Blood Mage. Bleed out. Oh, Voracity we'll, we already have. So what was the other one? Oh no, sorry. We needed the cleric anointment inner light. Uh yeah. And we'll get these one at a time. For now we have a nether boss fight. And should I just do Arachnid Nest? Now let's do let's do a, a regular uh, random realm, or should we go to the Arachnid Nest? Let's 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 do the nest. Let's do the nest. Even though I don't think this is going to be a difficult fight, I do. I am also curious just to see what the the bonuses are when you get really high favor with the gods, and we are very high with the uh, Regalus right now. So much so that each individual rank that we get, I am always so curious to see what the next uh, 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 bonus is going to be. What are we even dealing with in this uh, very comfortable set of uh, realm properties? The easiest that I've had in the last few realms, I think. Yeah, look at how look at how comfortable this is. And a treasure golem has uh, graced us with his presence. Let's not let him. Run away, there we go. That'll do this. Ah, oh, let's do that. And now, let's try and kill him with this. We didn't have our extra attacks, but we still managed to kill him just because of our brutal damage. Regalus is angry, but, you know, you gotta do what must be done we don't have any prophecy to answer yeah okay so I'm just gonna try this myself magic missile surely is sorcery there we go answered that all on my own good job me and you know what why am I bothering manually casting spells we can just blow through these guys without a care in the world get a bunch of Treasure from you. Oh, 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 easy. The game was momentarily slowing down. There's our another boss. Eh, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna fight this guy without even getting all my buffs and debuffs. We have Snare, which is the important one. Um. And do this. Uh, 
and do this, I guess. Nice healing as well. Let's entangle some more roots. Now we will feign some death. Oh, I guess you're a bit tankier than you seemed. But we do have more claymen. Um, we don't have as many buffs as I would like, but let's... Tr Star Pack did some good damage. Oh, I think I might have messed that spell up by pressing the button a bit too quickly. Alright, yeah, just do this again. Yeah, this guy is having a bad, bad time. And he's supposed to be the final... I mean, the final nether boss. And the final nether boss of the game. So obviously there are stronger boss fights than just nether bosses. You know, false gods, gate of the gods, that kind of thing. But you'd expect... Like, there are other earlier nether bosses that are tougher than this guy. Like, he needs, he needs to get his act together. He is not... He is not living up to his potential. His his parents must be very dis disappointed. Yeah, you know what? This is a really good uh, divination candle kind of realm, if you ask me. So let's make full. Let's take full advantage of that. And perhaps we shall even get a card out of it. Well, we'll see, though. We'll see. And... I'll even summon... One. Oh, we still have too many. I was going to summon one extra group just to increase the uh, enemy density a little bit. Maybe now? There we go. And we still have quite a few things left to explore in this realm. <laughs> we still haven't even picked up all our buffs and debuffs, I don't think. There are going to be other... Uh, interactable objects that may be of interest. Yeah, look at the lovely rate at which we're getting power from fighting enemies. Ooh, greedy. These guys are gonna give us some treasure. Extra treasure compared to regular uh, nemesis creatures. Are we going to get anything good? Well-deserved treasure, a long list of things, but nothing that exciting. Ugh. I was hoping to save that bonus for the uh, fight with the master who's standing right here, but I don't think it would have applied because I think it kind of treats it as a kind of quasi-boss battle. You know what? Ain't nobody got time for any of your nonsense. Ain't nobody got time for this. Uh, they're okay. They're they're still a bit a bit tanky, so we we can deal with this. Although I think I think this is gonna do it. There we go. There we go. Not they're dead. Got a whole lot of enemies. Most of them being ones that we just summoned. 
So let's just go around exploring this realm and seeing what we can find. Card would be great. But are we going to get a card? Not yet. Let's go around and here. And let's see what we find in the rest of the realm. Ooh, some nice loot there. Getting all these nice piles of loot. Eventually, we're going to start getting some nice items. I think we found a whole bunch of uh, nether stones last episode, I think. But none of them were useful. Perhaps today our luck will change. Alright, let's uh, take you out pretty quickly. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. This is one of the native enemies. We did, did not summon these guys. You can, you can tell because when you summon enemies of the candle, all the groups are the same creature. And these guys were a. Uh, you know, a ragtag bunch of various creatures, like these guys. Get some more treasure. A whole lot of uh, sources of treasure, but nothing special so far. Could be a treasure. Nope. Good. Be something here. No, something here. There we go. You always got to look around just to make sure you're not leaving behind any chests. And is there anything in this part of the map? Or any other part of the map? Doesn't look like it. And. We don't have any pressing need to go home right now. So let's go to a new realm. And actually, this time, instead of a random realm, I'm going to go to a specific realm. The, oh, the Amalgam Gardens. But let me get myself a nice bonus first. Amalgam Gardens, because I want to buy a specific spell. Come on, man. 392 is great. Amalgam Gardens is our destination. Let's go. Let's go down here. Talk to you. Make our donation. Oh, we want to buy a spell. Is it... Okay, let's see. Time walk, we already have gravity... Wormhole is the one that I want. Character sw swaps positions with the target on the timeline. I, w I want to experiment with this spell. No, I... 
Ooh, extra traits. Could result in a lot of uh, chaos. I want to experiment with that spell, because that spell could really help us, especially in terms of speeding up those really long uh, false god fights. Anelta rules over the depths. Uh, I am not summoning enemies. If there are extra traits, I am not gonna... If there are extra traits, I'm not going to be doing any extra combat. I think that's a reasonable limitation for me to set. Just because you can sometimes end up with really annoying things. Pit, Wraith, Liberator, Death, Death or Chaos? Death turned out to be the answer. Alright. Deal with you right quick. Maybe I should have uh, done this. Excuse me? Do they have dodge? They do have dodge chance. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Do they Are they healing? Man, what? Uh, and and we have no extra. Okay, no extra attacks or spells. Come on. Yeah. Okay. This is a slightly awkward combination of traits that we're dealing with, uh, realm uh, conditions that we're dealing with. Okay. Do that. Grab you. Down and round. These macabre enemies are. annoying, but I think we should be fine. There we go dead yeah let's go ahead and deal with this mini boss battle Be doing is I'm gonna be using astral dimension. I'm sorry, not not uh, uh, polish to regenerate the charges on my other spells. Keep polishing. Oh, you polished the wrong thing. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay, let's deal with you. Okay, why why are you back? Who knows, man? You're dead now. Right. One more wandering enemy and the master. Enemies are blighted, that should help. Hopefully they're not... 
Hopefully they do have heal synergies. Well, that sucked. Um, you know what? Uh, you know what? Just do this. Oh, almost. Almost, but I think we're fine now. A couple of them came back, but are now dead. Nothing there either. Alright. Oh, ho, ho. Right. Thing here, there's our final enemy, our final wandering enemy. No idea what's going on. Oh my god, what are you even doing? Um, You're dead. Another chest with nothing. And where is our master? That's you. That's that. And here's another riddle dwarf skeleton. Skeleton is surely death. What? Where is this guy? Where have we not... Oh, is he just... Standing here? Okay. He was here the whole time. He was here the whole time. What are you? The Uralos Master. Alright. First thing we're gonna do, Black Slate. Second thing we're gonna do... Uh, Clayman. Third thing we're gonna do... Clayman. Fourth thing we're gonna do... Clayman. Fifth thing we're gonna do... You guessed it, Clayman. This should set us up for a really nice feign death. And now I think we should entangle some roots. And now we do a star pact. And they are deceased. Good night. All right. And there's a part of the realm that we haven't been, so let's take a peek inside. You never know. Never know what you'll find. Ah, so you see, we we would have left behind this mini boss realm, uh, this emblem. It's a good thing we did uh, check to see what was in here, and there might be something outstanding in uh, one of these chests. And we are uh, we are out of star packs. Um, But a finger of death is probably going to be enough for us to win. And we didn't even need to do that because we landed a lucky punch. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. So nothing spectacular in those chests, but... We had to check. But still no reason to go back home. Well, actually, no, there is a reason to go back home, because we want to put our new spell gem into action. Uh, let's head back home. 
talk to you. Create a new gem of its uh, sorcery spell, I think, wormhole. Yes. Upgrade. And now, who? 20 charges is a lot as well. Now, who's gonna get it? So, we would have to drop. Somebody would have to drop a spell. Now, what? Do. Like, what spell is there that we aren't really using? I, I, I'm. How long has it been since we last used magic suppression? We, I think that's a strong candidate for being dropped. Yeah, so let's drop magic uh, suppression. I mean, I've it like it seems good, and yet I've never used it. So there must be. A reason why I've although yeah you know what? if I've never used it chances of me using it are slim so let me enchant wormhole with a few different things more charges why not um, but the main thing I want to give it is generous chance to cast twice I don't think it's gonna do anything? Casts on extra target? I don't think it's gonna do anything either. And yeah, okay, so let's just equip it as is. Oop! Equip it as is. There, there we go. Oh no, hang on. We forgot to give it... We we did give it generous. Okay. We did give it generous. Fantastic. All right. Now, I want to see how this is going to work. Is it going to work the way I envision? Like, do you just swap turns, essentially? Or does it do something different? Like, you, sw like you swap turns, but it also acts... The turn that you just took acts as his turn that's now gone and so I'm explaining it poorly it'll make more sense when when we are in the realm in Fryden's realm make a donation and let's deal with you and now you know what let's be uh, actually no, let's yeah let, let's try it right now wormhole what happens if we use where is worm wormhole is there I have to I can select anybody including my own people it does do I, and I do get a turn I think so I think that's what happened Let's try it again. And you've got the non-ethereal version. Will it put me above Miraxis? It will. Okay, th th this is brilliant. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. It put... So you take your turn, and I swap with you, but it's as if I swapped with you before you took your turn. So you are now bottom of the timeline, but I still have a turn to go. Brilliant. With that in mind, let me just do this. Are they resurrecting? Oh, they are resurrecting on death. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Right. Easy. So this spell is going to help us out a whole lot. In all those battles where we are fighting some really tanky enemy, you know those, and especially on those uh, 
false god fights where we pick that thing where we can only do 10% damage at a time. And our animatus is the only one that can damage uh, the false god, and so we're skipping turns. And like every sixth turn, our animatus gets his action and then he goes. So this is going to speed up that process a lot by essentially allowing our animatus to take many more turns than he otherwise would have been able to. I could even set up a, a macro system based around this concept. But I'd have to put some thought into how it would work, really. Because with turn swapping stuff, it really makes things very complicated. I'd have to dig deep, you know, thinking with full programmer logic, like, like, is there any way, if I set up this macro, is there any way that it could go wrong and do something that I don't want it to do? Which is a, a much harder question to answer than you might think. Even in s seemingly, n you know, not that comp- like, seemingly simple circumstances. Grab you. Bunch of underwater centaurs getting blown up, you know. As you do. All right. Grab that and this. And deal with you. Bunch of Harpies are not going to last long either. And again, hmm, it's annoying because our hmm, uh, what? Because Merax has got killed, we couldn't shut down the re the resurrections. So that was a bit unfortunate. Oh, we got to investigate shipwrecks by just walking into these things. I didn't think shipwrecks gave you anything cuz or if they did is the game not telling me that they did huh huh If there are any shipwrecks left on the map, we can investigate with those. But first, let's quickly deal with you. Now, the question is, in what situation would we want to use Wormhole instead of just using Rabbit Dementia? And I think the answer is, in situations where we need our animators to cast a spell. So let's say if we've made the boss immune to everything except spell damage. Then we can bring our animators back, at, back to the front of the line and... Uh, come on, just, just, just die. Just die, dude. Long, how long was that guy's turn going? Come on. Just just die, dude. But yeah. So in situations where we can only damage the enemy with spells, and we, there's no way for us to force the animators to cast a... to reliably cast one specific spell out of the many spells that he has, we can cope with that by instead using wormhole, wormhole to just give him an extra turn, essentially. If I'm understanding how this spell works, and so far, it seems like it is working the way I thought, and indeed the way I, the way I hoped. 
Alright. Grab that. Grab you. Yep. Oh, they do give resources, but just a just a tiny amount. So they're almost useless, but not quite. Almost useless, but not quite. And what are you? You're just gonna give some loot, I think. Okay. All right. All right. You're dead. Now then. I think this is the last wandering enemy in this realm. So when it is dead, we can uh, freely explore the rest. Alright. Nothing in there. Haven't found any cool special loot. So far, which makes me a little sad. You kind of get addicted <laughs> to finding special things, and especially if you find a bunch of them in a cluster like we've done in you know some of the recent episodes. And then when the game brings you back down to earth, you go a stretch without seeing anything at all. You, you kind of just it leaves you wanting more. Leaves you craving more. Once again, doesn't look like there's anything to do back at the base, so let's just go to a new realm. Oh, oh, I... I was a bit too hasty. I gave up a bonus of 366. How much are we going to suffer because of that mistake? Well, one answer is we are losing a lot of power, basically wiping out all of the surplus that I was carefully building up. 334 not good enough. Three oh nine not good enough. Four twenty nine is good enough. So let's, uh, let's carry on. Ooh, we got another realm. Uh, yeah, let's just go inside. Ooh, we have a Pandora fight. Uh, for a small fee, the contents are yours. Yep. We got some loot. We get, again, some loot. And we get some more loot. And now we fight Pandora. Rah, that was Pandora. Oh no. Scary. Ooh, this actually could be bad. Um, I, well, we should still be fine, though. But just to be on the safe side, let's do uh, this. <laughs> well, that was easy. That was easy. And the person ran away, but we get some more loot. And can't really interact with these anymore, that's okay. Let's head back. Grab this. Grab that treasure map. And let's see what we can find in this realm. So how long have we been going? Let me check. 39 minutes. We can do a couple more. We can do a couple more. Not sure if you'll be able to get to the next false god fight. Oh my god, these guys are... I don't know if they were tanky or if something else was going on.
but they didn't take much damage in that first round. So we had to give them an extra hit to finish them. Oh, these guys almost, but not quite. This should finish the job. that and then there's this corridor with nothing in it and there's that nemesis creature who we're gonna have to fight but it's gonna be a little bit annoying just cuz uh, uh, I'll have to Okay, yeah, I had a feeling some nonsense would happen, like he would take too many hits while he was immune and then the game wouldn't let us damage him anymore. Hilarious. Skip your turn. And just do this. Please finish him off. Okay. Alright. Now things shouldn't be so bad. Actually, we do have a uh, master fight as well. There we go, this should finish them. There we go, that is win number four against you. And we got you guys. There we go. Ran into that treasure entirely by accident. That's okay. Uh, we like the red and pink. We didn't get it this time. That's okay. Okay, let's uh, let's continue. Continue. Red and pink. We like that because it gives us favor, and favor is good because it gives us more favor ranks. And favor ranks are good because they give us all kinds of fun bonuses. Right. Grab you. I don't think we're going to be doing... Divination enemies in this realm? Or are we? Uh, I mean, yeah, there's really not much left for us to look at in this realm, so I think it would be a bit of a waste. Just get you. And. I will get you. And let's, uh, yeah, let's just head home because we've got a couple of, well, you know, let's, let's deal with this first. 
And then let's head home and... Uh, and get this dealt with. So which project is finished? Keyforge. Start another... Collect our reward. And look at that. Already got the animator lined up. And we're doing five out of five, out of five projects. So no reason not to just dive right into another one and we should be coming close to our next false god fight three eighty one is acceptable random realm cutthroat jungle what are we dealing with Pretty good. Pretty good realm properties. Uh, relatively easy to deal with. Uh, let's conserve our reincarnations because. Hey, look, our first special thing. And it's a kind of <laughs> garbage nether stone. Down, left, right. And... Let's... Go... Oh, hey, look, now the special things are flowing in. Excellent. I prefer cards or skins or useful nether stones but hey at least we're seeing something agile and repelling oh, the, the, uh, uh, okay come on I guess that wasn't so bad. Savage and splashing. Didn't even see those enemies. Oh, agile creatures, they're gonna be a bit annoying, but let's see what they they do. That wasn't that bad. All right. Well, that was a bit of an. Oh, I I think I messed that spell up, or I, I I cast the wrong spell. Something seems to have gone wrong. Never mind, because we can just do this. Excuse me? Okay, he was immune because he was uh, provoking. And then, okay, I understand what happened. Miraxis had already hit him with too many low damage attacks. And then we couldn't do any extra damage to him as a result. Excellent. Uh, Fryden is here. All right. Grab that. Oh, enemies are snared, although I think we would have gotten this in the realm anyway. 
Hey, look, another garbage nether stone. So we are finding notable things. Just not the ones we're specifically looking for. But that's okay. Alright. Grab that. More buried treasure. Do want to complete that mini quest as well. What, what else? I mean, let me just go and talk to these guys pretty quick. Just so we don't have to go all the way back out of our way. Just to finish that quest. Alright. Yoink. Grab and talk to you. Maniac should be really easy. So easy that I'm not even going to bother. Yeah, look at this. Not even going to bother with any formalities like blank slate or you know the usual things that we do when we actually respect our enemies and you know are expecting a fight that's moderately challenging no none of that we just when we see enemies that easy we just want to get in get out quickly as possible and if they think that's disrespectful, you know, then I'm sorry, but the onus is on them to get good. Alright, let's uh, go around and confirm that there's nothing really left for us to do. So now I think we have a... we have another boss ahead of us. Nether boss. And the next false god should be pretty soon as well. Three four two not good enough. Three seven nine is good enough, and uh, against this another boss, I think we're already going to be bleeding. So that this like debuff doesn't really do anything. Less indirect damage. It's going to be whatever, but we are going to go to the uh, arachnid nest just to make life easier for us. Abomination... Death? Okay. Was not sure about that one. Easy set of properties except for less indirect damage. Yeah. See, yeah, they're not even taking any damage. So we're gonna have to... And on top of that, they also have extra defense. And just less damage taken overall. So these guys are very tanky. And that combination of things makes me, once again, not want to summon any uh, divination candle enemies. if I just do this 
Well, in this case, we were able to break through, but that's only because we had the the helpful, you know, one enemy killed right at the beginning, which won't always be the case. Certainly, it will not be the case for uh, boss fights. But so far, we're making do. Once again. Outstanding, okay. Four more enemies and one master. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, a mimic. And some loot. The extra health is gonna help us do extra damage. That was <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, let's do this mimic. Yeah, where's my what? Oh, did you? Piece of, you piece of shit. Okay, you know what? It's fine. This is why I was saving my non-ethereal reincarnations. Ugh. Ugh. Just, just attack it. At least he's dead. That was annoying. Enemies are bleeding, and finally they are snared as well. Yeah, let, let me just deal with you pretty quickly. And finally we have our regular spells back. Yeah, when you get really used to using your ethereal spell gems, then anything that messes with that really throws you off. I don't know if we have a good defense against that. That's just a permanent weakness to uh, that kind of thing. What if I just do this on some healthy enemies? So it won't quite be enough to kill you. One more wandering enemy. And a master. Oh! I thought that was our master, but it's, <laughs> it's just a civilian who we uh, just uh, bullied <laughs> into <laughs> giving us a bit of loot. Whoops! I mean, we, we were gonna do it anyway, but, you know, would've been nice to get the, this master fight over with as well. And we've got another boss to go also. Where is everybody? Have we already found another boss and I was just saving him for later, or have we not found it at all? Alright, finish you. There is our master. You are the... Uh, okay, elf master could be a bit annoying. Because the elf barbarian is gonna... is gonna make life a little difficult. We'll have to find alternate ways of uh, dealing with this.
Okay, now I think we're fine. So we can do a wormhole. Excuse me, what? Why didn't that work? Why didn't why didn't the wormhole work? Yeah, no, hang on, why why didn't the wormhole work? Did I cast the wrong spell? Um but This time it worked. Uh I mean if I was just going to use Rabbit Dementia, I didn't need to use Wormhole. I don't know why I got so fixated on that. I, I guess I just wanted to reassure myself that the spell was working properly. I must have just cast it on the wrong target. Because you can select an enemy as well to uh, switch places with. I might have I might have done that by accident. All right. Oh, oh no. Ugh. I'm misclicking all over the place. Okay. No, no, because you're immune. Never mind. My mind is starting to go. I should probably should probably t take a break soon. There we go. Yeah, I think it's gonna be time to take a break. Actually, hang on. If if we have a false god next floor, then I'll I'll kill. I'll I'll do that, and and then I'll end the episode. I mean, but that's assuming we get through this fight quickly enough. A lot of assumptions being made. Alright, Kichi. I remember you being very devastating early on when we did not have good defense against... against uh, against indirect damage now now I think you'll find me quite quite a bit more capable than what I may have been those hundreds of realms ago when I met you for the first time. Well, for the third time. Met you for the first time at your third and most powerful form. I don't know what kind of garbage you just did, but I'm annoyed. All right. Things look bad, but it's not that we took damage, it's that our maximum health increased by a huge amount. So, with our current health having not kept pace, it looks like we have very little health. But in fact, we have tons. And so let's end the battle like this. Because perhaps I was a bit optimistic in thinking... Oh no! I was not optimistic at all. This battle is over. Nothing from the boss. Nothing from chest on the left. Nothing from the chest on the right. Killed Kishi for the fifth time. Nothing from 
this reward either. I think we've got a false god coming up. Yes, we do. I think I will do a false god. Are we gonna do it in the same realm? Yeah, let's just do it same realm. Let's just be quick. Let's just be quick. It's gonna be uh How long have we been going We're going Oh past an hour, so this is gonna be slightly a longer episode. But it's okay if we go like an hour and a half. What are we dealing with in this realm? Easy Easy collection of properties, I think. I've already donated, okay. Uh, uh, man. Yeah, okay, I'll give you more intelligence. Excuse me? Oh! Fused with elves. So that's gonna make life a little bit complicated. Uh, yeah, I'll give you three buffs. Man, we're not getting the good. You know, the plus 50% things. That's what I like to see. Uh, Fine. This is, this is gonna give us a good chance to test out our uh, our wormhole tactics. Depending on what other uh, properties we give the false god. If we make him immune to uh, attack damage, then yeah. Wormhole is going to be playing a pretty heavy role. Forty percent. Yeah, okay. Once again, this is shaping up to be a uh, very like we've given him a lot of defensive buffs. I would have preferred to give uh, him other things like you know starts at the top of the timeline, inflicts fi uh, you know three D buffs, that kind of thing. But. It is what it is. Yeah, okay. I said I wanted that, so I'll take it. People attack, which is the worst outcome. Oh, I thought that was the animators. I'm really starting to lose concentration. Yeah, I think it it is gonna be time to call it a day. Call it, call it an episode. Oh yeah, and we got another uh, master to fight as well. It is gonna be time to call it an episode. After this, this is probably the might master. But I guess uh, you know we'll fight that mimic. What a surprise! And you're an elf mystic, so we can do this. And then we can do this. Uh, 
Elf Barbarian, okay, got it. Let's just assume that every party has an Elf Barbarian. Some well deserved treasure. Hey, treasure from all sources. Sounds good to me. You know what I'm gonna do one thing is I'm going to uh, no not 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 yet let me beat the false god first down up oh yeah we, we haven't even fought you yet uh, of, of course there's an elf barbarian If we can make an impact, yes, we can, but can we kill them? Looks like yes, we can. Good. Gives us victory number 14. And nothing there. Alright, and. Nothing up there. Alright, let's take down this Caliban. Dude, hopefully we get what we want. Uh, things look grim right now just because of all the buffs and debuffs going on, but we can, in one fell swoop, make things look a lot cleaner. And now it's just, it's just academic. So we are hitting him how... I th we, we can attack him? Hang on, what? I've forgotten what buffs we gave him. Um, I've forgotten what buffs we gave him. We... Didn't make him immune to spell damage, and I don't think he's immune to attack damage. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's do this. At this point. Oh, you. Oh, my God, man. gonna happen every time because multiple body parts are provoking I yeah I'm not sure how this is meant to work but we shouldn't be giving him turns we shouldn't be allowing him to take turns that is just not very prudent I think at this point we can just start doing rabid dementia. And let's try this.
And, uh, okay, that, that makes sense, because that's uh, the one body part that's still provoking. Alright, so that's not gonna work out for us. How are we gonna... I don't think we can get rid of his provoking. What I can do is this. And subsequently this. That's annoying. Um, but at least something other than the heart is uh, provoking now. Alright, we gotta get rid of these uh, buffs on him. Let's just let's just give you a turn. Now let's just keep Wish we could see health bars because um, man, let's just give you a free turn. Uh, where's our wormhole? Where's wormhole? There, there it is. There we go. I think he has one more resurrection to go, though. There we go. This should be the final one, though. This should be the final one. Out of Star Pact, um, Finger of Death is probably only one of those is gonna attack. Alright, alright, we're fine, everybody's fine. This is working, it's just... Oh my god, okay. This end of turn provoke is messing things up pretty badly. Um, let's do this. We now have billions of health. Yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> there we go. 640% extra damage is irrelevant because of his 10% damage cap. And, and now I think we're... What the fuck, man? Come on. There we go. They're annoying battle. And, and maybe I didn't play it really well. I, I got too hung up on using Wormhole when I probably should have just been doing Rabid Dementia. 
which would not only have hit him with attack damage, but would have also triggered spells. I got a bit of tunnel vision, but I think it's good, just because now I've at least gotten the hang of how a spell like this can work. Are you going to give me what I want? You're not going to give me what I want. Even the odds. You know what, let's, let's get even the odds. What is our heaping treasure? Hey, look at that, another garbage nether stone, but a spell as well. Cast a random spell that belongs to their class. Mmm, that feels a bit, a bit too random. And I think we're done. And we can hand in our hunt, and we can do a whole bunch of things back back at our base. Ooh, we've got to pick up this treasure as well. Get that. Could be a chest over here as well. Indeed, indeed, there was. Alright, so we didn't find any cards this episode. Pretty sad. We did find some nether stones. Nothing too special, but you know what? It's okay. We took another shot at Caliban. Didn't get anything out of it, but... Did get a nice anointment, which honestly I might just equip. I might just have this... I might just have this permanently equipped. Which one was it? Uh, God. Evoker? No. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll go back and I'll look up what the name was. Cause there's no point. Uh, Bolster, deadly. You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna waste time. I'll when I'm looking back at the footage, I'll remember what the name was, and then I'll look it up, and then I'll assign it next episode for now. Let's do this. Hey, look, we got we did a prophecy task. We did a line, and now everything's complete except for uh, that. I know I haven't uh, started a. Uh, A new project yet, but it'll happen. Soon. Where's Kino? Where's Kino? We, oh, we have to play Kino, right? Yeah. All right, that's fine. Now let's hand in our Rune of Prophecies. Ooh, 40,000. Despite not being full, I do like that. Let's set a new bounty. Once again with Caliban. 777. Lucky number 7. And let's check out our Rune of Prophecies. Complete missions of any kind. And we're free to start any kind of a project that we want. So let's just do, I don't know, a raid. And I think we're done with this episode. I'm pretty sure we are. We have enough piety to awaken a new uh, relic, uh, a new god item. 
But we'll do that next episode. For now, let's just reflect on what we accomplished. We killed another another boss. We killed an another false god. We didn't find any cards or any other really rare things. We found a bunch of nether stones. Neither of them ended up being useful. We brought a new spell into our arsenal and found that it's working pretty well. But maybe I need to play around with it a little bit just to figure out when it's most effective to use and when to just, you know, use the traditional methods that have already been working for us. But I do think in certain situations having this wormhole could be very useful. Like, we could even use the wormhole on the Dread White and get it to feign death, right? I hadn't even been considering that aspect of it. There are lots of things you can do with it. And it's another interesting twist to our build, which just keeps on evolving as we, as we, you know, keep playing. Like this, like, this game has endless depth. I mean, yeah, I could. I could start playing with a new character class, but before I stop playing with this class, because I know when I stop, if I start playing something else, I'm not going to come back to this one. I'll get lost in the next one. So before I leave this one, I'm like, I, wa I want to completely solve this class and find the best build. But I know even that's a kind of delusional, delusional endeavor because there's so much uh, complexity in this game. I'll never know. I, I don't think it's possible for a human to know whether they've done the optimal thing with any given build. So, ah, yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. I do feel like um, this build hasn't quite tapped into its full potential yet. We don't even have all our uh, relics equipped, right? You know, that like one obvious thing. So there's still a lot left to do. But anyway, that's a... Uh, that's all the stuff that we will continue to ponder as we continue going deeper into this game. For now, it's time for me to end this episode. It's time for me to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. Hope you'll join me in the next episode as well. Until then, take care.